Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to another video by the Critter Mafia. Um, today is kind of just going to be a vlog of sorts. Um, there's a few main things I know are definitely going to be in this video. Um, but the rest of it's kind of just going to be touch and go. Uh, so I wanted to do an, an intro so we have one and um, kind of start talking about the one main thing of this video. So the main topic... Um, like I guess big crucial thing that will be in this video is Scooter has an upcoming vet appointment. Um, I will pop up some photos, but he had what we at first thought might be ringworm. Um, and then the more I was looking into ringworm, kind of researching it, and then like my personal experiences at work with ringworm, it just didn't look at all like that. Um, and I started doing just a little bit of research into like why guinea pigs might be losing hair because I didn't want to like stress myself out by looking and being like he has cancer and then like ah run into the emergency room and spending an extra $200 I didn't need to spend. The thing that made the most sense to me was that he was doing what is called barbering um, and from everything I've looked at it's basically just a thing that is more commonly in elderly guinea pigs where they will pull out their own hair in spots that they might be experiencing pain. And he is specifically doing this kind of like on his ribcage shoulder area. So what I think is happening is he is in pain from his disability. And like most chronic pain people, um, I myself am one of those, so like I understand, you have good days and bad days. Some days you're able to move around fine and other days you need a cane or another mobility aid. So I feel like for Scooter, some days he's doing great and he will move around the cage, he's very active, and then other days he's having a really hard time moving and he might be in more pain. So I have his vet appointment and what I want them to do is kind of just physical exam, potentially check for mites. I really do not think that it's a mite issue because none of my other boys are doing it and the fact that it is sporadic. Some days he, I, I've noticed within like the past week that I've seen this be an issue. Um, it, it, it fluctuates. Some days he's picking at it more than other days and I feel like if it was a mite issue he would be constantly going at it and that's definitely not what's happening. Um, and again, my other two boys are fine. Uh, I've been doing kind of health checks on them. I've been looking them over, haven't noticed anything on them, so I really don't think that it's mites, but yeah. Um, so my main thought process is probably getting Scooter on some sort of pain med. Um, he might just need a pain management for quality of life. I do not think that he is having a poor quality of life at the moment because he still has those great days and Personality-wise, he is still the same Scooter. I have noticed no, like, change in his personality besides those days when he's a little down. He might be like, he might rumble at me, which he never really does, but it would only be on those days, and other times he's fine. Like, we had him on, had, like, some uh, time in the bed, like, <laughs> with him, my partner, and I did. He's the same Scoot. So I don't, I don't feel like it's anything like that, that, like, he's in, he's in so much pain. I just think he likely has days that he hurts more than others. So he's got his appointment tomorrow. Um, I will likely not be able to film inside the vet office, um, but I will film probably us like setting up his carrier and of course any post updates. Um, There's the Scoop. He's still his same Scoop. Very focused on food. We have been moving some days we keep his food bowl like back here with him or other days we'll be over here and have to like go through the tube to get to it so he doesn't have to move around too much but I'm worried about him him pulling his hair out is obviously not normal not good so if, if it's as simple as he's just gonna need pain meds that's fine he's had to be on meds before so that's not gonna be like it's obviously not gonna be his favorite thing but it's not gonna be like too distressing for him. Yeah. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday. It is the day of Scooter's appointment. Um, I'm going to deep clean his cage real quick. Um, I said I was going to do that and then I didn't do it yesterday because I didn't have the laundry to do it. So I did laundry. So now I'm just going to do that real quick and I might as well just show it and it'll just be a little speed cut through. Um, 
It's not going to be very fancy today. It's pretty bare bones, um, but it'll be fine. For a couple hours I just want to be prepared I'm gonna throw like some hay in here um, maybe a treat or two hey guys so I'm currently outside our vet got scoop right here um, I am extremely anxious um, vet visits just always make me very anxious like my heart is racing I feel like I'm like borderline having an anxiety attack but we're fine it's fine just need to breathe and it's all it's all probably fine. Like it's it's probably fine. We'll see what's going to do. Alrighty, so we just finished up at the vet. And we have answers, which is phenomenal. Um, but they're not the best answers. So he was not self-barbering. I do not think that this is a pain issue. Um, in fact, instead he has lice, which likely means they all have lice. So super fun, because uh, lice is one of those things on like mites that can take a while to kind of like grow and build. So super fun. Um, we did get some treatment for him and scheduled an appointment for my other boys to go. So this is probably gonna end up being um, a slightly bigger video. 
I'm gonna include their vet visit in this too. It's just gonna be a whole trip. Just a whole my pigs have lice vlog. Awesome. I'm really excited. I'm honestly kind of peeved since they've done skin scrapes for him before and they came back clear, but I know that skin scrapes aren't super like solid since they have to be like in that single spot or single couple spots he scraped. But definitely just obviously bummed. Um, but it is what it is and we're gonna start treating our boys. So I've got the boys all packed up, uh, getting ready to head out to the appointment. Um, because of my appointment this morning, um, I am unable to drive today. Um, I feel fine, but I'm gonna be a good noodle and obey the doctor's orders. Um, so my stepmom is going to be my ride to the vet appointment. And uh, yeah, um, so I probably won't do an update in her car. Um, like immediately post vet so we'll probably just get an update um, when I'm out but honestly it's probably gonna be really easy it's really just giving looking them over seeing if they also have the lice uh, seeing if there's any other issues and then giving them the same medicine they gave scooter just with whatever dosage they would need but yeah so I will see you guys after the appointment So I am back home. I just filmed uh, what's gonna end up being tomorrow's video, which would be last week from this video um, just now, <laughs> uh, which is just gonna be like health checks. Um, and I did give them, I did give all the boys their first dose of their lice treatment. I'm in the living room working on, <laughs> working on my planner right now to add in the new stuff. So. Basically, um, the rundown of how the vet appointment went, went which was good. Um, Newton for sure has lice. They saw them on him. They did not spot any on Brutus, but because they live together, he's going to get treated also. Um, the biggest thing that I was not expecting that was uh, kind of like a shock um, is Newton has a small abscess on his neck. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything serious. They gave me some TMS to start him on, which is just like a pretty basic antibiotic. Um, Scooter's been on it before. Scooter actually also used had an abscess on his neck um, when he was younger, <laughs> before he was ever in my hands. Um, so that's just kind of crazy. <laughs> um, but it was really small. They're not too worried about it. Um, she said they're like somewhat common, like not like super common, but like not unheard of. She's definitely dealt with a few before, um, she being the vet. So they're on Revolution, uh, which is the, the lice medicine, and it is, um, they get a new dose every two weeks. Uh, so I just did their first dose, that's why I've got my planner out, so I can mark when I'm going to do their next dose. And yeah, and then Newton's on his TMS. That is going to be two times a day. Um, I have an appointment scheduled for him in three weeks to kind of do a checkup to see if it's gone down, if it's gotten bigger, if it stayed the same. Most of the time they respond to TMS, um, so unless something like more major is going on, which I really hope, of course, of course I really hope there's not, but um, I'm not going to extend, extend this vlog all the way out till his checkup. Um, it is just going to be these two weeks. I will do probably like another update um, before I do post this, um, but after they've been given their medicine, I, I really don't think I'm going to notice anything different in the first like first two weeks of, of the treatment. It's probably going to be for a bit. Um, so we'll end up doing like a follow-up vlog later on and probably like vlog every time we give them the dose maybe, like just do like a big, big vlog. Um, but I did want to get this out. I didn't want to let you guys know what's going on. Um, so yeah, nothing too serious. Everyone's accounted for. Everyone's on their treatment. And yeah, I think it's gonna, everything's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not, I'm not too, too worried, honestly. Like I'm, I'm a little, I'm the most worried about Newton uh, because of his abscess, but 
I'm, I'm, I'm really not even too stressed about that. I think we caught it early enough, it'll be fine. And yeah, but I will leave that here for today. Hey guys, um, I'm just in bed, so this isn't the most flattering angle, but I wanted to just kind of talk and I really just don't feel like going and putting my whole setup up right now. Um, but we do have some more updates. Um, I'm still going to put this video out, video out when I am, but definitely going to have probably like a part two to this essentially. Um, but I got a call from the vet a little bit ago because um, at Scooter's appointment we did run a ringworm culture um, just to be safe and turns out that it came back positive. So on top of the lice, the boys all likely have ringworm, which is super, super fun. Um, but I got their medicine ordered. It should, it's coming in the mail because the vet I go to doesn't like, doesn't distribute all of their meds. They had the revolution, but they don't have this stuff. I'm forgetting what it's called, um, but they're all gonna be on that for a while too. So it's just, I don't know. I'm kind of stressed about it, but it's like not really a big deal. They're both very mild problems. The ringworm we definitely caught really early because really only Scoot was having any symptoms. But they're obviously just gonna treat everyone since they are in like, close proximity like even if they aren't in the same cage like anything one of them has they're all gonna have being bar buddies the way they are but yeah um this is probably gonna end up being the end of this video um so i know it's 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 almost like i'm ending this on like a cliffhanger um but, yeah, I'm not thrilled, obviously, um, and like there's, there's no way to know how this happened. I'm trying not to like blame and beat myself up for it, um, but it's a little hard, <laughs> but they're all doing really good, honestly. Newton is on a daily med for his abscess which is fun um he hates it he is so mad at me every time and i feel awful but i cuddled him a bit today after i did it and he doesn't seem to really hate me he's just upset and i usually give them treats after i give them their meds um not too many i'm still being like careful i just I don't want to spoil them because I'm torturing them. I'm pretty soon here. They're all going to be on a med. I don't know if the ringworm medicine is going to be um, daily, twice a day. Noon's current one is twice a day. It's the TMS twice a day. Um, but at least the ringworm medicine is going to be flavored. I picked the strawberry flavor for them, so hopefully they will take it a little easier at least. Um, I'll probably sell it to Forrest Newton since he is already going to think it's just the TMS. But I'll give him the TMS first and then the flavored one. And maybe that'll work. But we'll see what happens. I, yeah. Super fun times for sure. Um, but... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, we'll definitely do a part two just talking about like their treatment and then um, yeah the the lice issue the treatment is like a six week long treatment so I'm not like gonna wait that long probably because at a certain point it mainly just becomes a preventative but can chronicle out the lovely ringworm saga.
thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you have a good rest of your whatever it is. Um, and we will see you next week. Bye.